Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. I'm Keith Brown. This is Tack Room Devotional. Forget not all his benefits. All his benefits. There's a lot of benefits that come with knowing God and, and knowing his son, Jesus Christ. As a matter of fact, look with me at Psalm 68. And... Um, Verse 19, it says, Blessed be the Lord who daily loads us with benefits, the God of our salvation, Sheila. Now, Sheila, what it means by Sheila, it means stop and meditate on that for a while. In other words, sit down and chew on it, buddy. So it says, Blessed be the Lord who daily, daily loads us with benefits, the God of our salvation. Back to Psalm 103. Who forgives all your iniquities, who heals all your diseases. Now watch this. Who redeems your life from destruction, who crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercy, who satisfies your mouth with good things so that the, your youth is renewed like the eagles. Now, the good things that he satisfies our mouth with is not just food, but it's also spiritual food so that we have things to say out of our mouth that allow God to do what, what his word says he's already done. It allows Jesus, who is the apostle and high priest over our confession, to get involved. It allows the Holy Spirit to get involved because he, is the, he leads us and guides us into all truth. And then finally, the angels get involved. How do I know the angels get involved? Well, we're in 103. Look at um, verse 20 in 103. It says, Bless the Lord you his angels who excel in strength, who do his word, heeding the voice of the word. Now, now, who is the voice of the word today? It's us. We speak the word of God. So the angels it says, excel sell in strength to do his word, heeding the voice of his word. Bless the Lord, all you his hosts, you ministers of his who do his pleasure. Bless the Lord, all his works in all places of his dominion. So in other words, when we speak the words out that line up with the word of God, guess what? Even the angels get in, mo in motion and get involved. Amen. So what we're talking about this week is the fact that when I was all alone, Satan would come up and try and condemn me. Now, don't get me wrong, I had some issues that I felt I needed to deal with because I had let go of my alone time, that precious time with God, that he could give me this, um, uh, satisfy my mouth with good things, that my youth is renewed like the eagles and crown me with loving kindness and all that. I, I, I'd walked away, you know, uh, Psalm 91, uh, he who dwells in the secret place in the Most High God will abide under his shadow. I'd walked away from that. I, I, I had gotten to the point where I was pretty much doing things on my own. So Satan is trying to condemn me. Hey, you're not worthy, and there is no repentance left for you. And boy, I'm telling you, it frightened me something f fierce. And, um, and then, all of a sudden, uh, I heard someone on TV... Uh, speak about the same thing and then I heard another man speak on it and another man speak on it the fact that he made us his righteousness see we're under a new covenant God says I'm gonna take your sins and cast them as far as the east is from the west and I will remember them no more so now how could we be condemned if God cast our sins as far as the east is from the west and he remembers them no more. The only way he could remember them is if you and I brought them up. See, he doesn't remember them. And so Satan comes to condemn us. He's the accuser of the brethren, tries to get us to focus, become sin conscious and focus on ourselves and the sin that we've committed and then start to live that out trying to win favor with God. You don't have to win favor with God. God's grace is upon you. His grace abounds towards you. Amen. And so we live under grace. And what grace has done, grace has made it where, where we are made the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. That's not something you earned. That's a, that's a gift. The Bible talks about it several places where righteousness is a gift. And so we receive it. A gift is something you receive. You don't work for nothing. You receive. I, so I am the righteousness of God. 
and all of a sudden that changed my whole my whole outlook on all this and said, wait a minute, I will not let one drop of blood of Jesus Christ be shed in vain. I take it all for myself. I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Satan, you are a liar, but Holy Spirit, please convict me of sin, righteousness, and judgment. If there's something in me, cleanse me. In fact, well, we'll pick this up tomorrow. I'll show you another scripture I went to that uh, helped me get through it. Hey, Jesus loves you. I love you. I pray that God would richly bless you as you diligently seek him and serve him.